Okay, so then we go to the Inca Burger the next day. And I'm feeling a little queasy from that chilling grill the day before. Uh, I'm serious. I, I, I'm feeling like, yeah. So we get to the Inca and order it up. It took a long time. I don't know why. There was, there was really one other person there. I don't know why. It took a half an hour to cook it up. But uh, we got it just in time. We were short on time. There was an appointment. So what we thought was plenty of time, we had over an hour when we got there. We had about 20 minutes by the time it finally showed up. So it comes. And I checked the bun. The bun was okay. It was... It was like a buy it off the shelf in the store, maybe day old. It wasn't stale, but it wasn't fresh. It, it was superior by far. It held together from the chill and grill. It was, it was definitely superior. Um, I would like a fresh bun. Um, so that's unfortunate. I know there's issues if you're not selling enough, but Damn, if you want to have, make a name for a burger, you need to do these things right. And if, if you can't sell it, put it in the freezer. Bring it out, thaw it out for the next day. It will still be fresh. Um, bun was disappointing, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. Now, I took a look at the lettuce. I don't mind crunchy lettuce. Some people don't like crunchy, what do they call it, crunchy water. Some people don't like crunchy lettuce. I like crunchy lettuce. This had the, the leaves of the lettuce, but they were dry, warm. I mean, you could tear them like a piece of paper. Um, they weren't very appetizing. They, they looked pretty good, but um, you could have done without that. I had to pull them off because it just wasn't very appetizing. Now I got it without cheese. Uh, they have a blue cheese. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna chance it. I want to give the burger a fair shot. I ordered. They have a small, medium, and large. I ordered the medium, 200 grams. They have a 300 gram, which is really big. And I like the way they kind of bulk them up. They don't make them these thin pad. I like that. I appreciate that. I like the cook on it. They, you know, you get those little brown crustinis on there. Um, I, you know, I appreciate that too. I'm not one that likes the the off-color gray steam looking burger. So, you know, that part was okay. The only downside really on that burger, outside of the lettuce and the roll could have been fresher, but as far as the meat goes, could have been seasoned a little better. It was on the bland side. And the other thing was, um, oh, once before I was there, I got one that was way over salted. So I'd rather, I'll take the bland over the over salted, but it'd be nice if we could get it right. It's a burger mix. Now it's not a bad burger mix. It's not as good as the one I make, but it's not a bad burger mix, but it still kind of crumbles and falls apart. So bread, mm, average at best. Lettuce, could do without or get some good lettuce. Burger, Season it up, improve your mix, or start importing the beef, like some do, and um, and you'll have a pretty good burger. But right now, I give it a five. It's it's uh, far from great. Uh, value, it's you know, value is good. You get a decent size. It also comes with these nice, thick. They're kind of like potato chips, but they're also kind of like a like a baked potato slice. It comes with those and those are quite good. You see them in the video. Uh, so the value was decent. Uh, the price was reasonable on it. I've got the menu here, six, seven dollars for that. You know, so that wasn't the issue. It's just, again, if you want to do something, do it right. And it would not be that difficult to improve on this burger. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up by going down what are the scores from the previous ones. How did I score them? Well, we'll start off with the Bodie Burger. That was the first one I went to. I'm greatly disappointed because they gave me the little tiny burger. And when I went back to give them a second chance, I got the real burger. And that was sufficient. It was okay. And it was, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I would go back again. I would recommend it. And I gave it a 7. The T-Rex, uh, that's right down in El Centro, and that's and that's quite good. Um, 
It had minor things lacking here and there. Overall, it's good burger. It, it's got really good potential. He could up that burger uh, without too much effort. I gave it a six and a half. So I gave a slight edge to Bodie between those two. Now I went to the Prague. I went to the Prague for lunch. Wasn't part of this test. And I had had a burger once before. It was horrendous and the roll was stale and I decided to give it a try since I would just done these burger things. So yeah, let me give it a try. So I videotaped it and Sandy was with me and lo and behold that burger was amazing. I don't know what they were doing before but they were they bake their rolls fresh daily themselves and it shows the roll was good the buildup of it the structure was good it held together the burger was it was no mix it was good beef it's good imported beef it was yummy it had one issue for me I gave it a 9.5 and I knocked off a 0.5 from being a perfect burger because they don't charcoal their burgers. Had that burger been charcoaled, flame broiled, that would have been a 10 all day. That burger was as good as you're going to get anywhere. So Prague Golden Brew Pub, I think is the name, right across from the Elver Hell Super Maxi, very near the delicious Mexican restaurant down the street. You go into there, they've got good beer, they brew it themselves, and the food is really good. The burger is killer. Highly recommend it. So we've got Bodie 7, T-Rex 6.5, Prague 9.5, Chill and Grill, a lowly one. Be grateful you got that, especially after I got sick off it. Inca, a 5. I believe we've got Santiago and Carbone. So, any suggestions, put them down here. I'll hit them up as I can. Have a great day. You know you could.